What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video here with me, Arnold Schmidt. We're playing War Color Legends by CFT Sock, a legend of deck building. Um, this is the Slowgurg deck in the latest iteration. Uh, CFT Sock made, I think, a free 1040 and a prelim on Magic Online just recently with this exact list. So I'm gonna uh, dive in. I sort of didn't play standard when this deck, uh, you know, became prominent, became a thing. This sort of like inti. Rona, Relic of Legends, Slogurg. I think that's sort of like the, the 16 card core of the deck um, became a thing. Um, yeah, so Rona, Inti, super nice combo with, with each other. Basically churn through your deck whenever you draw this card. Inti is going to trigger and look one deeper. And then uh, Relic of Legends and Rona, great combo. Um, you can tap your Rona for mana, play a legend, tap untapped Rona, tap Rona again, and sort of discount every legendary spell that you cast by one mana with a Rona in play and a Relic in play. Um, and of course, speeds you up as well quite quite nicely. If you go a two-drop legend into Relic of Legends, you all of a sudden have uh, six mana on turn four. And uh, if you play more legends, those add extra mana as well, so you can really go crazy with the Relic. Um, yeah. And then we have the wonderful, wonderful Slogurk here, which is a free, free for free. Just get a little recap for everybody here. I mean, you are already, of course, if you've played Sand, you already ran into this, but it's always good to remind yourself of what exactly this thing actually does. So whenever any land from anywhere is put into your graveyard, you get a counter on this thing. And if you have three counters, you can bounce it back to your hand, sort of pseudo protection. And when it leaves the battlefield, if it's killed or bounced, via that bounce ability, you can return free lands from a graveyard back to your hand. So that works very well, of course, with the channel lands, which we play 11 of. Um, with Slogurk, we can really do some shenanigans with those. We can Otavara, which triggers that, and then just keep bouncing things. Takenuma, keep returning our creatures, keep returning Slogurk. Just basically never run out of gas, never run out of stuff to do. If we have other legends in play, these lands cost even f less mana and become really efficient. So yeah, this, uh, this is sort of the Slogurk engine, the engine of the deck. Um, surrounding that, we have some removal spells here, five of them. Uh, we have a Goose Mother and an Aklazots as sort of like top end spells to ramp out to because you kind of have to treat this as a mid range deck. Um, I think there's some sort of convoluted way of getting infinite. Um, but honestly, I hope I, I never have to go through that because I think it's a it's it's a pain on arena. But I feel like if you have like slogan in play and reduction on some of these lands, you can um, then like Takanuma Jace back repeatedly if you have like some way of generating a bunch of mana with the relic of legends uh that's why there's one jason here i believe you can take numa and mill your opponent out 15 times uh so 15 cards each time so you do that and you just need mana for that essentially which is somehow possible i don't know exactly how but yeah th that's the trick anyways invasion of Ixalan is a recent edition i haven't seen before i believe it's recent um just finds your combo pieces finds your relic finds your slow work finds your whatever you're looking for um, Titania in here. We don't actually have the combo, the, the Argoth, Sanctum of Nature, the land. We just have Titania for the uh, reach 3-4 and whenever it land enters the battlefield, inter enters your graveyard from anywhere, just like Slogurk, you gain two life. So against an aggressive deck, against Convoke, you can really gain a bunch of life there with Titania. So it's sort of like a main deck card. Um, uh, yeah, just to prevent yourself getting outraced. And then last but not least, uh, our legendary removal slash counterspell here, our interaction that is also quite nice for the Vara. We can bounce it, we can return it with Takanuma. Um, yeah, Ertai. Ertai, Ertai, Ertai. And that is the deck. We have a couple of caverns. We have Zeratus Brewer Count and the Xanus Lounge. Um, and of course, four Plaza of Heroes, which is very nice to have. And one Sunken Citadel, which makes our channeling cost less. That is the main deck. Let's take a look at the sideboard. Very many black cards. A couple more cutdowns. Free the rest copies here. Oops. Um, we got some Glistening Deluge. Actually, three of those. Um, against Convoke. One turn the earth. That's quite nice against the Ramp deck or against any. Uh, sorry, against the Timo deck. 
uh, or against any reanimator deck, I suppose. One negate, another Jace, two little Dianas, uh, just like a little nice planes, Planeswalker package with the Resses. That's probably pretty handy against control decks. One more Aklazots, you know, this card is just the mid-range Mirror Breaker, right? Then that's what it's used for and uh, does a great job there. Can also be brought in against aggressive decks, I mean, it's a lifelink body. And we also have a Titania here, which, yeah, just... Uh, I suppose CFD Sock just found Titania to be the best possible thing against those aggressive decks. Um, just gaining two life every time a land hits the battle, hits the hits the graveyard works really nice with Rona and all the channel lands. Um, even Inti, you can discard lands, so it really buffs you up. All right, that is four color legends. Let's try this baby out. Love to play first. Uh, hmm, missing a color here. We're on the play though. We can have Inti and then. Loot into stuff. I think that's going to be okay. I'm going to put you on red, which is not the best color to have this land on. You probably want to have it on black or blue for Takanuma, etc. Death Cap Glade. So we're playing uh, against Gugari Midrange, I assume. It's going to be interesting to see. The Mosswood Dread Knight. Huh. Do I even want to attack into that? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. I mean, I'm missing colored sources, but I think I, I'm okay. I think I'm going to play this, play this, and I just pass the turn. I have a play here. If I didn't have a play, I might attack the Inti there. Because we have the Rona, we're good. We don't want to trade the Dread Knight. Yeah, I'll take I'll take free damage. Happy about that. Uh, less happy to see that one. Um... Okay, well, I do have airtie. Let's start by looting. Cut down. Invasion. So, the, the Otavara cost me two mana. Maybe the invasion goes. Let's see what the Inti finds. A land. A green land. Okay. Let's play that, and then... <clears throat> Could airtight a sentinel, could play Slogurg. Slogurg without protection right here is a bit sad. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna blow the sentinel apart. I'm not gonna loot with the NT. Could theoretically just deal it more damage, make this a bit of a race. I don't know. I am not gonna do it. So this says until you are until your next end strap. So if I if I loot with Rona now, then I have uh, the card. I can I can play it until my next end step, which is nice. It's just a very nice card advantage engine. These two together. One's getting in there, huh? I'm actually happy about that because Inti really wants me to attack. And this is a really good blocker for, for the creatures I have right now. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to ditch the Proving Ground. Another air tie. Uh, let's Rona again. Ditch the Basajo. Sure. Okay, Cavern. Uh, cavern on. <laughs> Doesn't really, I mean, what is this? An ooze? Uh, human, lots of humans in the deck, I guess. Um, sure. Play Relic. Play you. Okay. Mm. I have made a land drop. I think I'm just gonna pass the turn. Hmm. I need to go for the throat for the slow gurk. 
I have Otavara for one mana up here. Hmm, yeah. Guess I'm just gonna bounce my own slow gurk. Huh. I could have te technically speaking. Yeah, no, this is this is pretty good. Yeah. I could have tapped the Rona and if I find um a land there, I can discard it, put a counter, and then I can use Besage to blow up the map, or I don't know what. Yeah, it doesn't seem great. I think the way I did it was good. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm I'm gonna throw my anti out there. So I don't want to get too low on life. And I'm gonna... This Relic of Legends is really, really nice. I'm gonna kill one of these. Um, You know what? I have so much resources already. I'm just gonna kill everything. It's like they... They would need to spend a lot of time on doing this. So that time is, I mean, if they want to spend their time on adventuring again, that's fine for me. Glissa, okay. All right. Um, how do we start here? I mean, there's like endless options right now. So I can play Slogurk, Otavara this. I guess I kind of want to have Plaza up. Um, if I play with the Rona, I have four, five, and then I bounce this. Okay, that works, I guess. Um, okay, then let's tap the Rona. Play the Plaza. I guess I could activate first. Don't need to, I suppose. Oh yeah, let's do this first. Let's do this first. Okay, another slow group isn't great. That's okay. Um, actually, like I could play the slow group. It it gives me another loot. If I tap this one and this. No. No, I want to have my mana up, right? Uh, I think... I'm just going to attack here. I just got a Seiju. Make the Slogurk bigger. <laughs> Come on. Come on. What is this? Okay, opponent gives up. But yeah, I, I would have played Plaza. He have the Slogurk protection up and then... Um, I can loot away a land as well and then sort of return a slogan again, bounce something again, and just keep doing that. I can basically keep bouncing the the glisser here with, with all these in play. Maybe there's something more nasty I can do even. I'm not an expert with combo decks and especially not this one. I'm very unfamiliar with it. But uh, yeah, if you if you see some lines um, that I'm missing that are like really effective there, uh, tell me in the comments. I'd be curious. Okay, uh, Goose Mother, basically just a big thing that dies to go for the throat, sort of what, what it looks like to me. I don't really understand this card, honestly. I don't know what's behind it. Maybe with a bunch of mana, you can just make a big, big flyer, and then that's that, have a bunch of food tokens. But yeah, I want the Aklazards. Otherwise, Liliana's pretty decent in, against Gagari, I'd say. Um... Yeah, cut down is good against the bat. Titania, I could see cutting here. Maybe play some lilies. And yeah, I mean, I could trim the invasion, add another cut down. I mean, the only targets for cut down they have are these guys, which aren't the best targets for cut down, and then the bat. So I have two cups of cut down right now. So I think, I guess cut down kind of combines nicely with Loliana. Also with Relic of Legends. Okay, I'll play another one. It's such an interesting deck, right? It's like, it has these black removal spells, which you see in these various black midrange decks, but then instead of just playing, like, generically good cards, like, 
Green playing Sentinel, Muscle Dread Knight, or Blue playing Fairy Mastermind, Geeks, Preacher, whatever. Um, you just play the combo package. That's kind of neat. <laughs> also, it's just three extra colors, right? Red, blue, green. Um, yeah. This hand. It's close. I have 29 lands in my deck. If I hit one of any land, I can cast the Jace. I have double cut down. I have Lily, which has high upside. Point Mulligans to five already. Uh, I think this is a is a keepable hand. Maybe not. Maybe it's maybe you can do more. But like with twenty nine lands on the draw and cut on in your opening hand, I, I feel kind of nice about it. Could go south, of course. You never know. Ooh, well, Jay's is a pretty good answer to that, though. Yep. Jesus, like, when I first saw the card, I was like, hmm, this seems pretty good. But yeah, I just didn't really see much play in this format. Well, 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 okay. Well, the Shieldred is pretty good here. Wish I had more Go for the Throats, I guess. Go for the Throat has been exceptionally good. I, I'm surprised to see only two copies. I feel like Go for the Throat is one of the defining cards in this format. Just having like a cheap removal for all these for all these crazy powerful creatures. There's so many free drops that just run away with the game. Just having a two-mana removal that kills them all, or Shieldred as well, Nissa, you know, all these things is, is very nice. Oh, they have Lily too. Got a plus her. Um, cut down as well. Okay. So I can slow gurg and minus myself. Draw a card. That put, that puts my Jason. Like I could basically buff my slow gurg by doing that. If I hit free lands, it's a six six. Yeah, my my I might need to cash in my Jace. I could also chump block. Well, no. One's already getting bored. Come on, play faster! I mean, I could make it really big, theoretically. I could, like, mill myself for 12. That would make this thing pretty big. And then land it. I've, I believe this grows. I think this grows, yeah, like infinitely big, but like, I mean, they have a death toucher, but. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna draw cards. I feel like this is a little safer. Okay, it's a 5 5, right? That's how it works, yeah. Stogok is definitely a pushed card. Human Inti. Okay, so you can sack away my Inti. And then just block your shield right now, and then play another Slogurk, do the same again. Oh, yeah, it seems actually awesome. The one issue with that is that the lily sticks around if I block the shield red. Hmm, they don't even want to attack, okay. Interesting. Huh. <laughs> Hmm. What do I have milled here? These two? Hmm. So, if I attack the Liliana, I'd probably just let it go, and then a plus on the shield it. Hmm. My opponent is very impatient. You go. Am I playing that slow? I mean, these situations are complicated. I just let I go for the aggro plan. I understand that. I think I'll just play the land. Just want more mana in play.
They don't attack the cottage. Both at chase. Jason cutdown is in a way a combo, but doesn't quite work on the shield ridge. She still has six combined total and toughness. Alright, I guess I'll kill this. Let's mute our opponent. Take one to Jace. Muscle Dread Knight is uh, a really, really good card. Especially in late game. Like, a two drop that's just so good in late game situations. Very good. Hmm. Wow, the sun is really getting in here. Wow, the sun is coming out. I maybe should... Okay, after this little match, I will try to fix the, the situation here. <laughs> the lighting situation. The sun is blasting in. Okay, what do we mill? We mill two lands, Olivara, Seiju. And another Slogog drawn. That is unfortunate. I guess I'm going to lose this game, huh? There's nothing I can do here. I can block this, block the shield, root, take six and die. Oh. I guess I have to do this and try to find something. I can't even channel that. Okay, GG. <clears throat> I guess Shieldred surviving. I mean, we only have two go for the pros and two Lilianas for Shieldred. Yeah. I guess we also have Ertai. Never mind. We actually do have Ertai. We do have a chunk of removal. Oh, huh. was maybe a bit unlucky. Um, am I supposed to just play Titania to raise Shieldred? Maybe. The body is decent here. Can I just play Goose Mother? It's another must kill thing. Love to play first. Yeah, functional hand. It's Jace, uh, one of, really wants to be in the opening hands. Human. Because I'm not able to cast Slogurk right now. You have like one plaza of heroes that probably makes everything castable. Sure. The rest? Damn. I didn't think they would bring that in. It has a lot of misses, but you know, it's pretty good. It's, it's awesome here. It's really, really good. In general, the uh, discard spells become a lot better on the draw, so it's 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 easier to disrupt the curve when, when there's one less card in hand. Yeah, took the lily. Um. I guess Inti is not doing a whole lot. Hey, what's gonna happen here? They're gonna play a Glissa. Then I have to play the Jace anyways. I think I'm just gonna play Jace now. Draw some cards. Then I can neutralize one of their creatures next turn. Invasion of Ixalan. Hmm. Might be a bit tough to cast in this deck. There really isn't that many green sources, no. I mean, the Relic of Legends makes all colors, I guess. <clears throat> oh, okay. Well, I have a response.
Someone you're going me often and then just slow playing themselves. Classic. Classic, classic, classic. Okay. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> you just take the Rona. Go take another air tie. I'll pick up the air tie. It's a bit of a conservative play. And then I'll do this and attack. He. Oh, stupid me. I wanted to activate the Jace first. I got a little hasty. Hmm. Yeah, that was bad. Damn it. I'm not just gonna block. Yeah. Well, not the worst thing in the world. I mean, I do have a second air tie, but my plan was to plus stay on the on the preacher, of course, and then attack. Ah, oh, stupid. Okay. Yeah, that could really cost me. Just gonna discard my last card. Lily is very good against this deck. Cut down. Nice. Land. Yeah, you bet. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, that, 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 that mistake cost me everything. I would have had the 4 free in play right now. They would have still had the Preacher, which could have attacked, drawn him a card, but they can't attack into my 4 free. Like, this was just... Ugh. Sad. Really, really sad. Oh well. Okay. Well, I'm happy to play that. Hmm. So I'm just gonna kill the lily now. So I keep Dodavara for later. Wow. Okay, sure. They seem to have drawn a spell, not attack the cottage. Cool. Oh. I'm gonna draw three here, I have 21 cards. Great. Um...
yeah, I mean, drawing Dunis off the top there, decided the game. I made one pl I made one blunder, which certainly put me behind. I, I had the right play in, in head and then just forgot to click the button on the Jays, which was kind of sad. Um, didn't want to attack the cottage again, just keep drawing spells. Both at my face, that's 13. <clears throat> I guess if you don't draw Slowgurg, you just <laughs> this guy just has all all the all the best cards coming off the top of the deck. Um, yeah, I guess without the Slowgurg, you you're just like this weird weird deck in a way. Like you're just playing like Inti into one free Rona, you know, and then you have like Erta and Liliana, you know, like. Some removal spells, but you also get more out of your lands, right? Like you can bounce a thing, you can take a Numa back something. But without Slogar, which is really like your card advantage engine, the deck doesn't really grind that well, actually, right? Like a couple removal on Rona and, and Inti and then, you know, that's it. To be fair, I mean, there's a lot of creatures you have to kill, like Slogurg, Inti, Rona. If, if you leave them alive, um, they can draw deeper and find find you all the pieces that you need. Not saying it's like... <laughs> when I triple cut down, even ended the rest, yeah. And Lily, yeah, I mean, I could see that a matchup like this is even bad for the Slogurg deck. Maybe this is, I just saw the wrong side of the deck, but... I don't know. Like it, it really, really is all about Slogurk. If Slogurk can stick, and you ever get to like, if you play it and you immediately are able to protect it, that's gonna be huge. Um, but yeah, you play a ton of mana sources. You play four relics in your deck, so there's gonna be some draws where you just like flat out completely, and uh, where they handle your your Slogurk with like the triggers on the stack. They have to go for the fruit at the ready. I don't know, or they cut down the Rona, then you play a Slogurk, you know, like Slogurk is a lot weaker when you don't have Indie Rona in play, right? It's it's sort of like this free free that, you know, does a little bit, but not yeah, I mean it sort of needs needs some engine cards to get going. So yeah. Huh, this game after game one I was like, hmm, nice, yeah, this feels good, crushing green green black, but now I'm like, hmm, actually there's a whole lot of weaknesses here. Which I didn't really see at first, and yeah, that's why you play and uh, play test some some games with the deck. All right, let's play some more. Let's play some more. Okay, what do we got? We can cast Slogurg with this cavern, but then we can't cast Tania effectively. One has taken a Mulligan, so double Busages, so I only have three lands really. I'm on the draw, so I could draw straw into any type of land. I don't know, I guess I guess the cavern is a flexible land. I can just start with Lanawa ways and then sort of make my mind up down the line. Yeah, we'll see. Rafine's Tower. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this on human. Uh also goes around like now I can't cast Slogurk for the foreseeable future, I guess I can't even cast Jace, but I can at least cast Airtai and Titania and Rona, you know, finds me more stuff. Or not, but you know, would have drawn me into things. If it would have left. Vetting, sure. Um I could play Inti and Besage the Vetting. I think that's actually a good play. Because like I'm I'm gonna see an extra card by discarding the land, right? And he's gonna trigger. Okay. And I you know the Basaju I already have Basaju in play, so the Basaju is not a land drop anyways, really. Did find a go for the fraud, okay. I assume this deck is also a lot stronger when you have the relic turn free. Plus, you know, a good amount of legends. Ooh. Well, kind of good for me though. I get to use my go for the throat now. Actually, can't really be unhappy about this. Okay. 
Opponent's got some, very little pressure to be fair. And I have a lot of spells that are impactful, so the deep cow and bat doesn't do a whole lot here. I guess, this, yeah, I mean, now I'm just going to play Titania, I guess. They took the slow gurk, which I, ooh, that, that's a really nice follow up. That's that's a really good card to have as, as your last card. Not bad. Yeah, I might lose this game now. It's kind of not hoping they have like Vetting or Rafine there. Suicide some creatures, okay. I think I'm just gonna kill off the bat. Oh, what's happening here? They have a Wandering Emperor. Fine. Maybe my attack was a bit too aggressive. Yeah. They're really throwing away these tokens to draw cards. I mean, yeah, it's fine, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's too live. It's not nothing. Play it. That would be sacrificed. Gain two. Okay. All right. They could have attacked the Anchorash, draw another card there. Also, yeah. Okay, um, sure, I guess. Long goodbye. Interesting. Acclizards. I think it's got to be airtight. Um... Fourteen life. Hmm. Sure. Yeah, I guess I'll just kill Rafine and then. Oh, I have to do it now. Sorry. Yeah. 
Uh, tap into And then I play Atai, kill the bat. Get me the slow gurg back. And then get the ball rolling somehow. I even have the cavern here, so. Tight binder. Okay. Ten life. I wonder if they messed up with these anchor edges. Yeah, like what is this? Now post combat activation. Seriously, both of them. Seriously, what? Could have done so much damage. God damn it, I'm lucky. Um Okay, okay, so this is four power each. Lodavara saves me. Uh okay, let's see. We can play this, bounce this, play Jace, mill myself. Uh Yeah. What's the plan here? What's the game plan? Gotta get this to... Then I can, yeah, then I can sort of go infinite. Uh, I mean, I, I don't go infinite, but I, I, at least if I can return uh, lands with this, I can then bounce Boseju, these, these things, Boseju over there. Yeah, that's going to be really good. So I want to use, I want to get the slogan 100% to, to that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this for two. And I'm gonna just mill myself for nine, I think. Instead of three, because I don't wanna risk, or oh, I could mill myself for six. Six is pretty good too. Okay, <laughs> okay, I hit six lands. So the Titania unfortunately only gains me two life. Sadly, but yeah. Um, now I have the ability to return the Seiju. And then with the relic in play, I can besiege both the anchorages and basically win from there on. I think I don't want to attack. Yeah, so now I have the slogan going. It's going to be very difficult for them to win. I can return Otavara and two besiegers, I guess. Yeah, I think it didn't matter, like, if they would have dealt me six damage last turn, you know, wouldn't have changed the outcome of this game, I suppose. Uh, yeah. I could, I, I could theoretically also let him attack me here, because I have 10, 13, 15, 18 power. Um... Might be able to kill them. Your face. Okay. It's a wild game. I really didn't think I would win this. Oh. That one's good. That one means I can't return anything. So that shuts off Slow Gurk. 
which leaves Slogurg as a 10-10, which that's not good enough. I think I have to I have to pull the trigger. Oh, wait a minute, though. Ah, I messed up. I should have floated a mana first. I'm going to take Buseju, Oravara, Oravara, maybe. Okay. And that's fine. I guess now they can bat and take my Slogurg. Cool. Kicks this command in the main deck. Prepping for Convoke. Okay, let's start with this. Let's play you. Um, let's go here. Um, uh, I guess mill myself once. All right, there we go. Okay, opponent has seen enough. Yeah, I can basically like if they try to gix this command, I can return Takanuma and do it over again, and so on and so on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I mean, when it works, it works. And then it feels really impressive because it's also just like so hard to interact with, right? It's like, oh, what do you do, you know? Like Slogurg is so good against removal if you have the engine online. Basically, you just need a bunch of gopher throats, I guess. And my opponent had only one, which they used on my Rona. And, you know, I just had enough combo pieces. Inti, Titania, Slogurg, that was enough. And some slow lands. Um... At uh, channel lands, sorry. Esper, 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 Esper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guess I want cut downs. Grass is interesting. Aklazards. Uh, again, the Goose Mother, the invasion. Those seem like the least important cards. Titania did some work there, Chase. Could see the duress. Not sure. Don't hate it. It takes, like, Maybe a hate card. Mm. Cut a relic for the rest. Is relic too important? Maybe. All right, I'll just leave it as it as it is. But yeah, I can see the Erta. The Erta is nice with Takanuma, some powerful creature to get back to, like you know, deal with anything. And also, it it is just a body that that reduces the cost of these. This seems good enough. Reduces the cost of uh, all your channel lands. Cavern plus the Atos Proving Ground. <laughs> Casts my entire hand, basically. It looks like they have Virtue of Loyalty. Um, blue, I like human. And uh, Rona, right? It's always Rona. I mean, I, I'm going to play Inti first here because... I have a second one. Oh, that cut's quite good against Rona. Gotta be careful there. Mm, nice. Um, okay, fine. I'll just kill it now. No, no questions. Play Rona. Attack for two. Decline politely. Maybe Axelzatz is a little too slow here. Like, Rafine is such a powerful card that, you know, like, while this thing beats Demir, beats Green Black, right? It beats Red Black. Esper with Rafine, you know, if Rafine just lives, can just truly overpower something like that. Yeah, I mean, it's still going to be good, though, I think. I think, yeah. yeah. Considering I have four cut down in my deck for Rafine as well. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll use you. Slow Gurk, uh, which I can't cast. Huh. 
one has three cards in hand. Hmm. Maybe the proving ground. Uh, I think I'll put some blue. Could play Slowrogue there, but I think I'd rather have the Inti Rona action going. This time I didn't want to suicide attack their creatures. Or at least, I mean, I could have done one. Um, maybe go for the third. Kind of want to hit a land, so I'm going to do this. Hmm. It's annoying. This card. Maybe the god. Maybe I should have ditched the god. I mean, this kills the Rafine, which is kind of appealing. Like, I. I don't know. Like, the god is just overkill here. I already have, like, this crazy engine. I have Slogurk. We just keep. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's no question. You just get in here with everyone, right? Besides maybe the 2-2, I guess. But like, if you play virtue here, it's going to be great. Pond is just like, what, what are you doing? Come on, make a decision. Some sort of joke. <laughs> I can actually attack down the Emperor here.
We can play Slowgurk here. Or we can play Aklazats. I'll probably just play Aklazats. Slowgurk, I can Takanuma for two mana. And then like, I don't know, mill some lands maybe and, and so on and so on. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I need a couple of hours to clean this all up. Um, do I want to stop sagering here? I don't think so because then I give them a land. Alrighty. They had no more lies in hand, they kept that up, go for the throat, but then they played go for the throat. Lucky me, I guess. Okay, uh, loot. Quite the formidable board state over there. Alright, and play air tie. Sorry, play slow gurk. Right, and then... Ask me how to use my mana. Did like this. Oh, eh, no, that's fine. This is fine. Okay, 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 okay. Loot again right now. Just chill, play my Takanuma. Quite not a good idea. I mean, I, I do have a bunch of Takanumas in my graveyard, but also Takanuma. Could return the Inti right now and play it. Then I can't Poseidon. You. Could just pass. Then I can't play Airtie. Ugh. <laughs> block, kill this. Block, block, take five, seven, ten. Then I have life gain next turn. Okay, you know what? I'll play it. Interesting game. It's like 10, that's, that's fine. How many betting announcements can one can one beat here, huh? Okie dokie, I guess I'll 
stay back with my ground creatures. It's got a Denic. So I can make my Slogok have the sixth counter with that plaza. And then do some shenanigans. If I want to. Okay, that's a lot of counters. Yeah. Guess I have to say to block block. Yeah, okay. Uh. Oh wow, I get a bunch of bats. <laughs> that's huge! I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot about that part. Oh, that's actually incredible. Um, Well, that puts me in a less of a awkward spot. I can just jump here now and jump here. Call it a day. That's it. Sounds good. I want to keep the airtire around because it cheapens my target movements. Funny. Hmm. I, I think I have to get the ball rolling here and just do this. This is a 4 7 now. Can't even attack anymore. What? Exile it? How did I not know that? Wow. What? I... I never... Like, this card has been legal for quite a while and never realized... It's exiled. It's not sacrificed. I never realized that. It's hilarious. Oh, that's very unfortunate. <laughs> My goodness. Awkward. Wow, funny. I never knew. Never played this in real life, I guess. That's sort of where you realize these things, but like... It's also just like very unusual. Why would you need to be exiled? Why not just sacrifice Plaza of Heroes? Why, why exile it? I guess so you can't do slow work shenanigans. I don't know. The heck? Okay. All right. Fair enough. Triple wedding announcement came out victorious, but I feel like it was close and maybe a better player would have, or like a, a better pilot with the deck would have gotten there somehow. I mean... I had one turn where instead of Arctozards, I could have Slow Gurg, start the Takanuma chain and do all that. Maybe that would have worked out for me. Yeah, I mean. Play one the rest, I don't know. What are those weddings? These games take forever, Jesus. Oh, not like this. Using a close game, and then this happens, it sucks. Okay. Mm. Yeah, something like this. Titania.
Okay, wow. Long time I've seen a Kaito in an Esper deck. I, I guess I got severely punished for not killing this beginning of combat, huh? All right. Uh, yeah. Put this on God. Maybe. You know what's up? Oh, yeah, no, I could have actually attacked here because I'm not going to loot. I guess I'm still going to loot and just fill up my graveyard. But yeah, I don't want to do the way to God. It's my... Ugh, stop it. I guess I'm going to loot in case I hit a land. No, that's awful. <laughs> I would have drawn the answer right away. No! Ah! All right. Yeah, you get you get yourself a god. How about that? Make a ninja. Hmm? <laughs> okay. Works. I will kill. I mean, I'm not gonna chump with that anyways. So I guess I'll just attack. I'm gonna pass. No reason to let him know. I mean, I guess the bat is gonna attack anyways. Yeah, sure. I guess I should. I, I guess. Like, if they play Rafine, like, it could still, you know. They have Rafine here, for example. They might play Rafine pre combat and then I kill the bat. So they, they made a play thinking the bat would live, but it actually doesn't. Could be, you know, important. But of course, they could have also had air type or, I guess, negate. To counter my cut down, which yeah, that would have sucked. So there's reasons to cut down the main phase too. This looks like a wandering emperor to me. Hmm. Interesting. I mean I could not play the god. Counter this wandering emperor. Is that crazy? I also like getting rid of the Titania. Sorry, uh, the other way. Have my Titania get rid of the Kaito? Oh. Okay. They have another one? Okay. That's what's up. Worked out a little bit more, like, worse, because they now still have the Kaido around, but... Uh, yeah, it's fine. Like, I got to kind of deal with two of their spells with one spell there. They still have the Kaito though, so... There you are. <clears throat> Nine minutes left. Wow. <clears throat> I think I'll just discard that.
killing the Rona of all things. Okay. It's the one card that can get me to this god, I guess. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's where they can grind, huh? Grind, grind, grind. Oh, opponent made a samurai when they have a bat? You should just plus with the emperor there. Yeah. But they, they triggered the things wrong. They could have had a counter here. Mistakes after mistake. Like, if you have the bat there... And this is on free loyalty. I have zero cards in hand. You can try to kill the, the thing. I mean, I guess I have the plaza, but still. Blow up the virtue. They just get in there with everybody, huh? Damn. Hello. Okay. Maybe I should have just traded with the free free nuts. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's okay. Have another virtue coming. Ooh. It's Espedek. Some late game. Just overpowering my god here. Big Danik. If I lose this this match, I think I'm done for the video. Like I'm just like done. Like super draining, super long matches, both against mid range decks. Mid range is like fifty percent of the format. You know. It's like, why would you play this deck if you just lose the mid-range fights against Esper and Golgari? What am I supposed to do? I mean, double block something. Just take it all, take 14. Jump block here. I mean you do play 33 mana sources fundamentally like this happens this happens
So now I'm going to get bad tokens again, potentially, which is kind of funny. Rafine actually not that great against the bad god. Uh, jump here and then use my plaza here. So I need some time. Virtue, huh? Like virtue just overpowering plus vetting, just any type of mid-range game. I'm trying to do here, it's just like boom, virtue comes down. Slowberg just doing jack shit. Yeah, I think I'm off it. This is just, this is like, it's a deck, but it doesn't seem. I might have misplayed, I might have done some things wrong, but this deck does not seem particularly exciting. Like, what, what are you trying to sell me here? Like, this is going to beat the aggro decks, I guess, because you have the Tanya and all that. There's just inconsistencies, you know? It's, it's, a, it's a very land heavy, very reliant on some creatures surviving. Um, all the mid-range decks have a bunch of spot removal. Cut down for those two drops, which is very effective. Maybe I get, maybe I got unlucky that I didn't like get to use my my guy here at all. Do I have Otavara? I do. Oh man, I'm one off from drawing 20. And there's Denig in place, so I can't even return lands, right? Yeah, so I guess I have to attack. But then this thing can eat my guy. Okay. Can't return lands because Denig, yep. Okay, yeah, that's it. I don't have it in me to play more with this deck. Um, Danik shutting it off, shutting the slow go off in itself is also a beating. And then you're reliant on these creatures when cut down and go for the Frodo, like the top five most played cards to really do a thing. And then you even lose against the mid-range stuff, which is like value plays, deep cover and bad, good cards, good cards. It's just much safer to just play good cards. If you play a mid-range deck, just play good cards. Don't try to be fancy. Don't try to do fancy combos. I know CFT Sark, he cannot resist. It's the only thing he can do, right? Um, and sometimes it's correct. I mean, he won a big, big, big tournament, right, with the Sultai uh, lands figure, uh, configuration. Um, but yeah, sometimes also not correct. <laughs> sometimes you just play the stock deck and don't go off the rails. And uh, I think this is one of those times where it's just not correct to follow follow CFT Sark's uh, footsteps here. All right, but hey, cover all your angles, try everything out. That's why I'm doing these videos. And uh, yeah, covered another angle, found something out, learned something, and I hope you had some uh, enjoyment out of these games watching them. All right, guys, signing off. See you next time.